And we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Anthem live stream. Uh, my name is Ben Irving. I'm one of the lead producers uh, for Anthem. And joining me today, we have a very special guest, Darren McPherson. Darren, would you like to introduce yourself to uh, our amazing fans? Yeah. Hi, fans. I am the producer for Gameplay, here to talk about some really cool things. That's right. So, to that point, today's uh, stream topic is all about loot, gear, and progression. Um, it's been a really exciting journey, I think, going through all of these streams. We've talked about our world, my story. We've talked about uh, javelins. We've talked about gear, weapons, and abilities outside of the streams. Um, we talked about uh, personalization two streams ago. But the one thing we really haven't got into is how does progression work? How does loot work? What are rarities? How do the stats work? Can I make builds and loadouts? Yep. Uh, and our goal today is to talk everyone through all of that stuff which is exciting. Let's do it. So, um, we're gonna flip over to the game now uh, and look at the forge. So we've talked about this before. The forge is split into two core sections. We have uh, loadouts and appearances. Uh, we often call that uh, customization uh, and personalization. So personalization is about how you look, your appearance, and customization or the loadouts, uh, as you see in the UI here, uh, is about your power. Um, so as we dive into this, uh, Darren, can you just talk a little bit about what are the kind of UI elements we see yep. here, and then after that, just the summary of, of yep. progression. Yep, so each Javelin uh, has five uh, you know, hard points or equipable slots that you're mm -hmm. gonna have. Um, those are broken up into different types, so you've got, here so you see weapons, uh, the uh, Colossus-specific um, heavy assault launcher, the Ranger has a different one, the Storm has a different one, so they right. have different names. <laughs> Ordnance launcher is his rear mounted uh, artillery, um, components and support gear. Right, and so in the past we've talked about, you know, there are three gear pieces, so here it's kind of heavy assault launcher, ordnance launcher, support gear, that would be the three for the Colossus. Right. You have two weapons, If you, when we drill into the weapons you'll see, and then components, which we haven't talked about yet, and we'll save that for a moment, we'll, we'll get there yeah, in a second. Cool. So that's, that's the construct for how you can equip things and do things with your character. Um, but before we dive in, what's the like overall system? Like you have a pilot, the pilot yep. has levels, like how do, what other parts are there to progressing your character as you play the game? Okay, so you, you, just like a normal RPG, you have levels. Your pilot, in this case, it's not an EXO level, it's a pilot level. Right. Um, so as you uh, progress in your pilot, you unlock certain things, like for mm -hmm. instance, uh, if I want a second weapon, I get that at four. So I start with a single one, etc. Yep. Um, these slots be are unlocked, um, some of them relatively early in the game. And um, then as you play the game, you'll, uh, you'll loot items. Yep. Those items have levels on them. Okay. Those items also have rarities. So if you're familiar with other, MMO, uh, other uh, RPGs, there are, uh, there's generally common. And so we have common, we have uncommon. Yep. We have rare, and then we have epic, and then we have a couple uh, that we'll talk about we'll later, talk about later. Uh, yeah. that that uh, make up basically our six rarity types. Awesome. So um, you have a pilot level, and as you increase that, you get more powerful mm -hmm. uh, loot, uh, and then rarity scales amongst yep. that, those levels as well. Okay, cool. So um, that's the overview. Now we need to describe, well, how does this look like? So we'll start pretty simply yeah. with an uncommon <clears throat> item. So. Here we have the firewall mortar. Do you want to just explain what are we seeing here and yep. what all these um, so, stats mean? Uh, so we have our stat block. This, uh, you know, as it says, is a firewall mortar, so it does fire damage. <laughs> you can see here In uh, the wall? damage is that? fire. Okay. Yeah, it lays a wall down. Okay. Um, it had. We you can see that it's recharge time um, and uh, fire status. So fire status is a, sort of a. a, a a new stat for uh, for games uh, like this, which is how quickly do you light someone on fire in this case, or if it were ice status, how quickly do you freeze them, etc. Okay. So this is a good little segue. So that's important to our combo system. Yes. So the idea here is that you would apply a status effect. Once you apply enough of it on a certain creature, mm -hmm. it's now primed. Right. And then you could get a gear piece that's a detonator and use that to do a combo. Yep. Is yep. that right? So, that's how it works. so yeah. So we have um, things that, were, that that apply an effect, and then things that will then create combos okay. when that effect is there. So this one 
puts effects yep. on. How do is there a way to tell that here? Yeah. So if you look to the left of firewall mortar, the name there's a little symbol there that happens to look like a flame, but that is our our universal icon for this thing will add a build status status effects. Right. Okay. Cool. And you know some things will build a lot slower than others. So while most of the things that apply an element of ice or whatever um, will build up, some of them are so would we'll, we'll take a long time to build up. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But this then, one's really good at. It. And then, um, so that's most of it. There's one mm -hmm. little part here. Oh, every stream, yep. Ben forgets the caveats. So, a <laughs> couple of caveats. Why are there zeros oh, in there, Ben? Awkward. So, this is still um, a game we're working on. It's not finished. Uh, and in this build, we have a bunch of bugs. And so, one of the bugs we have here is all of the uh, numbers for this next part are all zeros. Obviously, right. in the real game, they won't be zeros. In fact, most of the numbers here are a work in progress or have bugs to them. So please don't read into any of the, the uh, right. numbers here, the damage numbers, the right. fire Balance still numbers, continues, the percentages. Um, that's all work in progress. Right. So um, with that being said, when you see 0% pickup radius, that's obviously not right. the actual Not number. as good as you would want. Not as good as you would want. OK, so now that I remembered to do that thing I was meant to do at the very start, can you explain, there is a thing here that says 0% pickup right. radius. What is that? So that's an inscription. Okay. So each item that you get above common rarity, so uncommon and above, mm -hmm. will have a number of inscriptions on them. These are, um, these are stats that have a, will have a random range of value. So this could hypothetically be 5 to 10%. Right. Uh, you, get, you get this item and you get a 7% bonus. Okay, cool, that's good. Um, there is a number of, there's over 100 Mm -hmm. actual different descriptions you can get on yep. an item, um, broken up into, into a few pools for, for uh, us to organize and, and balance. So on some of them, you're going to get extra damage stats. On some of them, you're going to get uh, secondary utility, um, things like that. Yeah. So just to, to clarify for everyone watching, that would mean every time you get a firewall mortar, it does the firewall. Yep. That's the thing. It does damage. It applies status effects. But if you get uncommon or higher, uh, you get a random roll, and those things right. would be different every time. So the core functionality is the same, but all the bonuses um, are different. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So we just covered a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, so let's we'll, we'll let's wait brief the next for a section. second. Do we, we have any questions that have come in um, that are related to that? Okay. So uh, first question: um, Will we be able to craft legendary weapons and gear, or are those specifically only available as loot drops in the world? Okay, so uh, we're going to touch on legendary weapons and gear a bit later. I think we can still answer spoilers, the question, spoilers, though, because we replace that with epic. Can we yes. get uh, purple uh, legendary weapons mm -hmm. and gear? Um, so our, the primary means of, of gaining uh, uh, gear uh, weapons components is uh, randomly through killing creatures or defeating objectives, etc. Yeah. Um, so you can eventually get some of the ability to get some recipes to craft some of these things. Uh, crafting is a is a good supplement uh, right. to not. I didn't get the assault rifle I wanted, uh, but maybe I got the recipe. Then I can then craft that. Yep. Cool. Um, let's. Oh, I think you just kind of answered that question. The other question we yeah. we just got here was: um, Will loot be RNG based, or will we share? We'll have specific mission strongholds that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so. The answer to that question is just what you said, right? Like for the most part, you go out into the world and you get random right. loot. But yeah, let me clarify one thing though: the 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 based on your level, you will get more uh, is more high more high chance for you to get a better rarity. Right. So if I'm level five, it's I'm it's really hard for me to get an epic piece. So it feasibly could happen, but right. um, but as I get closer to twenty, that will start happening more frequently. Yeah. And then if you play harder difficulties, harder yes. content, your chance of getting higher rarities right. will increase. Right. So if I'm yep. if I'm you know level thirty, I'm in a dungeon. That's my that's a really good chance for me to get epic drops. Um, you know, bigger, better loot. Okay. So I just saw a, a question in chat come through that was, can we trade with other players? Um, so our answer to that is no. Like we want this to be about the loot you go out and, and get yourself. Right. Um, and again, if, if you end up in a situation where you don't get the things you're like, oh, I really want an assault rifle, and an assault rifle never drops, um, then the thing you could do is, to your point, supplement with crafting. Mm -hmm. So you could find a challenge that rewards a, an assault rifle uh, blueprint, which is our recipes. Um, and then get the materials and craft that right. if you really just wanted to have an assault rifle and, and you were getting unlucky for some reason mm -hmm. and not getting your hands on one. 
Okay, so that's a couple questions. We might get back into the explanation. So we covered the ordnance launcher, which was a green uncommon piece. Yep. We're going to look at the heavy assault launcher now. Yeah. So we so we have our flamethrower. So again, fire damage. Um, this builds up fire status, um, and you see our inscriptions here. I have javelin heat damage, which affects all the the heat or fire damage that I would do as a player. So that's a really good roll mm -hmm. to have on this uh, on this item. Um, and then I get extra shock on ammo. Right. So here, I think you might have mentioned it, but here we have two inscriptions, and before we had one. Right. Is so, there? A, how does that? Yeah. So from from common to, to uncommon, sorry, from uncommon to rare, you get an additional inscription, and that number grows up to four. Well, up to four. We'll get caveating that. We'll later. Get there. Yeah. Uh, rarities. Um, and all four would be random rolls from random this giant from, list. Well, from available. from different pools. So we, yeah. you know. As you, you get an item, uh, you get a weapon at level 20, it'll have, it'll roll from a primary damage pool. So that primary damage pool is, is what yeah. you, is going to increase your damage of some, some kind. Yep. As opposed to, sometimes I get, uh, you know, something that isn't maybe as exciting like pickup radius, but it's still helpful, as opposed to, I More got like a really good one and I got, yeah. So like flight time extensions, would right. that well, be in that yeah. pool? And, you know, depending on your build, that's really, flight time extension, we'll see a little later, yeah. is super valuable. Well, you might decide you want to do speed runs, so having a huge pickup radius is great, because you can go through and pick things Let up. Let me tell you, playing as a storm with big pickup radius is huge. Oh, good point, good point. Okay, so that covers off the assault launcher and kind of the rare items. I think we're going to look at a, a epic one, a purple one. So I wanted to, want to, to talk okay. about this one. So this is a common. This is the lowest rarity. Um, and here on the, the, the side of the, the railgun on the left side, you uh, see yep. the combo I icon. So the each one of these. Primer, right. right. Oh, the, the detonator, prime, sorry. The, it's a detonator. Yep. So each one of the things that does that, that says this detonates, uh, the detonates a com explosive okay. combo. So if we had used our other piece to put a creature yep. in fire status, and then I use you this. could use this for a combo effect. Right. Um, and then, I don't think we should digress here, but then each of the suits have a different effect when they combo. Yep. Um, oh, we could cover it real quick, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so the, the Colossus here has explosive combo, so he does damage to the primary target that is, that has been primed, and then an AOE, AOE around it. Yep. Right. Um, the Ranger does a high impact, single target damage, enormous amounts of damage. Um, the Storm, uh, so if the guy's frozen, and he hits him. He does not only does damage to that guy, but he chains the ice the frozen to other effect. people. Yep. Um, and the interceptor is my favorite. Um, you go in. You kind of have you, a favorite child, but continue. I, I can. I'm, I'm allowed to. <laughs> they don't talk back to me. They don't get jealous. Um, well, they might. I don't know. Um, but uh, you hit the you hit the prime target um, yep. with one of your uh, your combos, and now you are surrounded by an aura of that element. So then I drag that around and freeze or apply acid. Well, you can to apply that else. aura where you move. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of depth there to the combo system, which maybe should be a, its own stream yeah, itself, but yeah. we, we covered a lot of <clears throat> the basics anyway. Okay, okay, so we've gone through that. Uh, next, let's take a look at some epic stuff. So, um, so we'll, we'll dive into the weapons really quick, which have a few different um, effects. So here's our, here's our grenade launcher. Again, heavy weapon. Have we ever covered heavy weapons on these, uh, these streams? Uh, no. Okay, so uh, we're doing it now. <laughs> okay, let's So this it. is a heavy weapon. <laughs> heavy weapons can only be used by the Colossus. Right. Which is cool. So there's the the, the grenade launcher and the auto cannon, big, massive. Yep. Only for the Colossus. Only yep. for the Colossus. Um, here's a here's a marksman. Again, you you can be used by anybody. Um, you, so you can see its damage, its optimal range. That's where you're going to do the most damage. If it's mm -hmm. farther than that, it'll be uh, the damage will be lower. Um, and then of course it's got inscriptions. You now have the three inscriptions. Right. Yep. Okay. So and then you know the rest kind of is, is similar enough to that. Um, the one thing you know support gear is, is we don't need mm -hmm. to probably go into, but the one thing we didn't really cover in the general of Anthem right, communication which, was components. Which is new. Right. Uh, which is kind of new to explain. So uh, again, this comes back to that notion that we've separated uh, vanity and power, or what we're calling personalization and customization. Mm -hmm. And so in personalization, you, know, you pick the helmet you want to wear and the chest and the, the legs and the arms, for example. Uh, but there are no stats associated to it. And so right. players have been asking, well, but isn't that kind of annoying because I like that I have stats there. And so what we've done instead right. is have a series of components that bring that back. So not only do they add stats to your suits, but they add other abilities. But why don't I hand over to you and you explain sure. so components and, and some of the things that they do. We, I agree with the, I agree with everyone saying those same, same things. Yeah. How do I customize my play style? How do right. I customize how I, uh, you know, 
what I do, how do I incentivize to go down a specific path and uh, pursue a specific item, mm -hmm. for instance. Uh, so components are the answer to that. Um, so let me dive into uh, these, these two on this one. There's many, many more that you can mm -hmm. get. Um, components' primary purpose is to allow you to tailor and customize the, the play style yep. uh, that you want. So, so what's an example of that? So an example of this is right here. Perfect. All blast damage, which means explosions. Any, there are things that aren't explosive that do blast damage. Yeah. Um, so we're very specific here. Um, is increased. Now, obviously, percentage, no, 0% isn't good. <laughs> we have a bug in there. Um, but if I wanted to focus on doing explosives, I would, uh, maybe this is an item I would choose. Um, these also have um, up to two um, inscriptions on them. Okay. Uh, so the difference between this uh, explosives expert and another one would be the, the inscriptions, could be the, the rarity. Um, and yep. the, the power level of it. Um, and so I think explosions is a good one. It's like more damage. What are other ones? Are there utility things to focus on? So what, there, what so there some are some utility examples? things. Um, I need more ammo in my. Uh, I've got an auto cannon. I want more ammo. Right. You take the you take the one that you take the thing that gives you either more ammo for all your weapons, or there's a specific Colossus one that gives you more auto cannon ammo, or more ammo for all of your weapons. One one question we get asked a lot is. Hey, can you know flight's cool? I love flying. Will I be able to extend my flight time? Oh, yeah. Is this way you do that? So you can do this in, in that in a couple ways. You can you can do it here. So you get an inscription that gives you more uh, thruster lifetime. Right. Um, or you get them. You get that, and if you roll really well, you get it also as your inscriptions. So yeah, your inscriptions so you can, give you yeah. more thruster. So so I can fly for a much longer time or hover for a much longer time if I choose to specialize in that. Yeah. And uh, one little point, and then we're going to move on here. Um, so this is pretty complicated. And so sometimes <laughs> fear in talking through it, it's like, hey, well, what if I just like want to enjoy playing the game and equip stuff yeah. versus being a min max? So like, like, is that does this cater to both groups? Yeah. Do you so think? so it's again. Components are meant to allow you to very easily customize your, your play, and it is not very complicated. It can get complicated, but it's to, to what degree you want to participate in right. that. If I want more, if I feel like I want more ammo, I'm going to equip the Just one that gives more ammo. ammo. Stuff on. yeah. um, if I want to, if I happen to be using an assault rifle because that was the latest drop that I got, and you have the component for assault rifle damage or assault rifle ammo. Equip it. Yeah. So they're and pretty self-explanatory. The other easy. end, it's like, okay, if I have a specific group I yes. want to play with, a so specific comp, and I need to do things, I could get really deep the, in min max. The second one, the overclock regulator, the, the second one you see here, um, and that has some obvious benefits to the to the. I both have my firewall mortar. I have electric electricity gear pieces that I can do as a Colossus. So that's a pretty good item. Right. But when I combine that with other things that, that boost elemental damage or that do elemental damage, then I begin to have some synergy with uh, additional items. Got um, it. So. All right, so I think we've covered this build a little <laughs> bit. Okay. Um, so what we want to do next, so first of all, let's see if we can get a couple questions as we're rolling into the next topic. But um, Darren very kindly set up this Colossus loadout and we were looking at it, it was like, man, it would be cool to show like a high end, like a really high end, uh, loadout, and so you made an extra loadout that is a, a masterwork loadout. loadout. Yeah. So first, let's talk about, we talked rarities up to epic. There are two more. Do you want to explain what comes next? And then, and at the same time, let's swap to the ranger yep. and see what you've put together for us. Uh, so, uh, rarities beyond epic are masterwork and legendary. Yep. So a masterwork, um, let me go to here. I can't do, I can't speak and- <laughs> You can't do two things at once. Two things at once. Um, so a masterwork item is a higher higher rarity, higher higher power level mm -hmm. uh, than an epic, and also each one comes with a a masterwork property. Okay. Some special thing that it does over and beyond what its normal things are. So um, we looked at um, we we can look at the uh, the assault like we look at our assault launcher. You can get a, a high explosive missile. I think it's called a blast missile in the game mm -hmm. at any rarity. But when you get the masterwork version. It comes with a new a new orange text. Right. So this is an upgraded version of that. That when uh, when you defeat an enemy, an explosion happens. That an electric explosion happens. Okay. So you've got this special property. I then see you've got the four inscriptions. You've got four inscriptions. So if I was to get another Argos mace, the special property would be the same. You're right. And then the four inscriptions would be different. Yeah. So. Right. You might want to get multiple Argos maces to get oh, the perfect combination of inscriptions. Depending if on you're how chasing that. deep you want to go, you'll right. make you'll make a 
to collect as many as you can until you get like javelin blast damage. That's good for me. Yeah, this right. is blast damage. You want to make it blast um, damage. I want yeah. thruster life. So you'll see, uh, I'm, all of this leads to me getting a yep. full build together. Um, and then above. Masterworks is legendaries, which we don't yes. have examples here today. Right. But do you want to explain? Yeah. So uh, take a take a, a masterwork item mm -hmm. and give it a level upgrade. Same properties, but probably a deeper a, a deeper inscription pool, yep. different inscriptions that it can pull from, um, and more power. And more. So power. the same property. It's like kind of the same but more powerful yeah, version. It's, it's yeah. like the ultimate chase it's, for the people who yes. uh, will play Very the game hard the to most get. and do the hardest content right, and are the exactly. most dedicated. Okay. It's the the big chase item in there. All right, little little breath here. Uh, we have got some questions that have banked yeah, up. Yeah, let's. Um, can let's you give explain a the gear score more? Uh, yeah. So each item that you have has a power. You see the power level. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, those values added together form your your gear score. We use that to say this is the this content is appropriate for someone of your of your level. Right. And so you can see in the top right, Al says legendary range. I think that's a bug. It it's probably bug. should say masterwork yes, range because we're in masterwork. But then, so what, the sum of that All of my gear parts is 433. Is 433. So yeah. when I, if I were to take some of these items off, you would see that bar go down. And then but yeah. suddenly, I'm now an epic ranger. Yeah. And as you cross thresholds, you'll yeah. go through the rarities. Yep. Yeah. Yep. OK. Yep. Awesome. Um, this is another question. I'll answer it. Uh, is inventory space limited? So. Yes, there is a limit because mm -hmm. there has to be because that's how servers work. Um, it's pretty large Memory. though, and so the idea is that you have plenty of space to keep um, enough of these things um, that you need for your different loadouts. Um, but you will have to maintain it a little bit, like in most games, you fill up and you realize oh, that yeah. half of it is junk, and you keep it you go for a rainy day and, and yep. salvage it. Which salvaging in our game is really important because it gives you crafting materials. Right. So you'll want to break down the things you're not using or you don't need anymore. Right. Um, and use them to to craft stuff. So yes, there is a cap. It's it, it's meant to be big enough that you can freely do all this stuff. Um, but th there's a limit at some point. Like yeah, our engineers start complaining when it gets too much. Yeah. Uh, will blueprints scale? Yeah. With you, it's a good question. Them? So basically, I think the 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 question is, if I get a blueprint at level five, let's right. let's say it. Let's say crazy something crazy happened, and I'm level twenty, and I get a masterwork blueprint, and I create that. You would then create a level twenty version of that. Right. And then if you were level 30, level 30, so it's basically whatever level you, you are, um, you'll so you craft create it the that. same one. You don't need it would a new be a level recipe. 30 one. Yeah, you don't yeah. need a new recipe. Okay. There's not level So the recipe, it gets created for the current level when you craft yes. it. Yes, right, yeah, right, right, right. I didn't know that. That's good. Um, is there a way to re roll inscriptions? The method for re rolling inscriptions to recraft the item. Okay, so if you're crafting an item, you craft lots of it yeah. into the inscriptions you want. If you just got an item, the answer is to go out and get the item again. Right. So there, yeah, you can't re-roll except right. for crafting. Okay. Right. Perfect. All right. So let's get back to our build. So we're going to get deep here. I think it's about to get complicated. Yeah. Take so a seat. Take buckle a your seat belt. Get a get a spreadsheet out. Yeah. Uh, get a get a pencil and a calculator. Um, <clears> we're going to just talk through Darren's build, the different pieces of it, and then at the end we'll talk about the synergies. I think if we gave the high level thing. <laughs> You've created a build that excels at being a ranger who hovers, right. and by using gear, you can do lots of bonus damage and hover longer yeah. and reduce cooldowns and keep doing lots of gear. Right. So, so I hover, I do explosive damage. Yep. I do ultimates as much as possible. That's the three key pieces. Right. So let's explain how that works. Okay. So we'll start with the components, um, which are. For this build, the most important thing. Now, I want to be super clear here. I'm focused on explosions, which are coming from gear. Right. But the other build that I was playing with playing with was an <laughs> impact um, build, which would have been focused on, on weapons. Your weapons. Yeah. Uh, well, and then I have other. I have gear that actually does impact damage as well. So it's yeah. it's the opposite. So, of an AE. so I guess the point there is there are lots of different builds oh, you yeah. can make. And I think the players will come up with many that we never even thought oh, of. I hope so. This is just one right. example to show kind of the depth. And the, the, the kind of choices you'll have as you're doing this yourselves. OK, so airborne advantage is a ranger only component. While I'm hovering, my gear recharge rate um, is increased by half. Huge. So like a 10 second thing. It becomes now five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah. OK. So I can do my, I can do my gear more often. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. OK. Um, good. So on this one, it's a little confusing. When I defeat an enemy with the left bumper, Right bumper. Well, with my right bumper, my left bumper gets more damage. Okay, so in my I, case, it happens to be yep. a, 
a high explosive blast missile mm -hmm. and a grenade. Both of which do explosive damage. Right. So you you defeat an enemy with the missile, then when you throw your grenades, you're doing 50% extra damage. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's if amazing. I time it, it requires some timing. So there's some skill involved here. Right, absolutely. Uh, which is good. Um, while not integral to my build, mm -hmm. if I get multi-kills, which happens a lot with a grenade that does a lot of damage, my shields are restored. Right. So if you use right. defeat an enemy with your missile, then you throw your grenade at three people, it's doing double damage. If it kills them, recharge shields. Right. So if I'm in the thick of things, I could stay in longer if I'm executing my right. rotation properly. Okay. Uh, so tip of the spear, I also I want to use my ultimate a lot. Mm -hmm. um, because, and I have, I'll show you why, and I'll show you what, okay. how I'm doing that later. But um, when I use my ultimate, it increases my gear damage by 50%. So that stacks with, with, the, uh, with the other one. Okay. Um, so I'm more likely to be able to trigger them. Yep. Um, and uh, for five seconds. Also uh, very integral to my thing. And then I, I pulled in a couple things that, that were really good epic versions of my standard pieces um, because I want my assault launcher to do more damage. And yep. that 5% is actually higher than that. It's a, a bug with the, the, the value. And I want to I want to throw out as many grenades <laughs> yeah, as, right. I, as I can. Yeah. Clearly, that we're trending yes, that way. Yes, you got to trend. Yeah. So I want the recharge rate as low as, I, as, yeah. low as possible. And so you, I think you can really see the difference between the masterwork items are really interesting. Yes. Um, you know, and then the, the lower rarities are impactful to your play yeah. style, but it requires less thought into how you'd piece them together. Right, so, so this gr uh, Grenadier ex uh, inscription, I could get that level five, six. Right. It's it's a it will obviously not have be a an low epic version of it, and it but it would have the inscript right. inscriptions. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So it builds up in Ooh. layers. The players don't have to gulp okay. it all down at the same time. So that's components, but that's not the end of the build, right? There no. are a few extra pieces that are. So important. so let's look at at this guy. So this is my uh, my my blast missile, um, electric explosion when I defeat an enemy. So I I I want to do more explosive damage as mm -hmm. much as I can. This uh, allows me to do that. Because so you also <clears> had when you defeat an enemy, your grenades get more damage. But also right. when you defeat an enemy, it does bonus damage as well. Yeah. So you're like defeating an enemy, explosion damage, and bonus grenade damage. Yeah. So I want to okay. do as much so damage as possible. So it starts all stacking up yes. into yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Now I've also got thruster life here, because I I'm, I want to hover as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, and Which I've we'll got see javelin blast the, damage when we get to the weapon. Yeah, es yeah. Especially. Yeah. Um, okay. So oh, let's let's look at the grenade, grenade first. Okay. So this is um, on a small multi-kill. I add that, that number is bugged. Don't worry, it's not 1,000. But it 10%. It could be 1,000. <laughs> I mean, it could <laughs> it be if we were thousand. crazy, but yes. Okay, okay, um, that's fine. So that's 10%, but you're, you're, gonna, get this, you're gonna get this a lot. Uh, yeah. It's not hard to kill two guys so, with a big AOE explosion. So now we're into, okay, make sure we're all following. Uh -huh. I use my missile to defeat an enemy. Hold on, start at the top. Okay, While I'll, I'm hovering, actually, do 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 the do the gun next, because then we can go through the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Because the hovering part, you're right. It's the most critical. It's the most critical point, part of this, which is where we go. Okay. So this is uh, so I've got two items here. We talked earlier about um, combos. Yep. So normally a weapon doesn't doesn't apply any status um, effects. This one. That Does. number should be 10. But if yeah. I hit somebody 10 times, it will light them on fire. Right. Which will then, then prime them use for the a combo. Detonators and a combo. Right. Okay. Um, so while I'm hovering, I get Raptor Sense, which gives me extra weak point damage. So yep. while not vital to my build is an extra perk while I'm hovering, because I'm right. already it's hovering. incentivizing hovering. So if right. you didn't manage to defeat an enemy, you could clean them up pretty easily oh, yeah. with, with the bonus right. weak point damage. Okay. So then. Um, what we're going to do is, well, so we weren't planning to show this, but I think we can show it. I don't know, we're we low on it? time, but if our lovely stream team some questions will first, allow or? us to show it, uh, why don't we try to show it? All right, thumbs up. Uh, so let's, we'll swap back just to our heads, answer some questions, and then we'll get ourselves Kay. loaded up. But let's, let's just describe the sum of all of yes, that real let's quick. let's sum it up. So, you correct me this when I'm item. wrong. Okay. I hover. I hover. I'm getting reduced gear cooldowns by, by half. half. Yes. And weak point damage. I defeat an enemy with my missile. Right. It does bonus explosion damage, and it makes my grenades do 50% more damage for three seconds. If I use my grenade and get a two person multi kill, right. it'll regenerate my shields. If I get a three person multi kill, 
it will fill my ultimate meter faster. You got those numbers reversed, but yes. But yeah, okay. Fill fast. So after I do all of that, oh, can you load up into the yeah. thing? That's okay. Um, so after I do <coughs> all of that, um, if my ultimate's filled up, I use my ultimate, that increases all of my gear by, I can't remember the number now, it was 50% or something. Yep. Um, which at that point, my gear cooldowns are so low, they're probably it's, refreshed, and I'm doing it all over again. It's ludicrous. Well, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So okay. anyway, that, <laughs> but, but to, it, so it sounds ludicrous and unbalanced, but if you want to push into, uh, we've talked about, and I think you've seen on streams, Grandmaster difficulties and things right. like that. Though you're required to have that power to push that content where you're getting better yeah, loot. Yeah, so you'll need so this stuff if you want to be playing the top end right. content. Right, right. Okay, and so on that, at launch, there'll be three difficulties as you play through uh, the, the crit path and also get towards max level. Right. Uh, we've shown them, I think, um, uh, it's Lancer, Freelancer, Master. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there'll be three more difficulties available at launch once you unlock them that are Grandmaster 1, 2, and 3. Right. Um, and that's where I think this kind of stuff comes into play. But also by doing that harder content, you get a higher chance of getting these more rare mm -hmm. items like Masterworks and things like that. Right. Okay, so we're going to show all of that. <laughs> but while we're just getting ourselves worked, uh, sorted out, uh, let's do a couple more questions. If we have some. Um, okay. That's a good question. It's very on topic. Uh, let's say there is a legendary gun called the Exploder. Uh, <laughs> is there going to be only one version of that gun with fixed stats, or can we find an infinite version of the same gun with better rolls on the stats so that we don't end up with the same builds? Yeah, so as we said, the, the, if the Exploder is a masterwork... That explodes, let's that, say. That its, <laughs> its orange property, the orange property that it has, mm -hmm. will always be the same on the Exploder. Right. But the infusions on it will be different. Right. So because there's a wide variety of builds, multiple builds could use the Exploder. And f depending on what build I use the Exploder in, I may want different stats. So it's right. perfect for me if it's got if it's got Thruster on it uh, so they can hover more. Right. But if I'm not hover-based, if I'm melee-based, then, you then I don't care one. about it. Right. All right, so we're going to flip ourselves over to free play. I think we're sorted out here. Um, all right, we are good to go. Okay. So. So, so we've talked so, about grenade, right. refresh. Right. So, so let's let's let me show oh, you. you. Want to explain I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, yeah. Great see idea. It, right. Great so idea. so I think it's about twelve seconds. So you, you see, see the, the little yep. the little bar raise. Now watch what happens when I hover. Yeah, it's half. Much faster. Like it's half. Ridiculous. Yeah. And you can see, is they had the buffs on the left. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, let me let me. Do I can't that remember again. which one was which, but so uh, Raptor's relief is the cooldown reduction, yep. and Raptor's sense is is, is my weak point. point damage. Yeah. So you can see, and you see the electric explosion there that yep. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So so let's do. So you've got to uh, get defeat an enemy with your missile yep. launcher. So I'm gonna do that. Oh. Oh, uh, you didn't. <sighs> didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. It's okay. I do a bunch of damage yep. with that grenade, so it's cool, and it comes back fast. Yeah. You better get on the ground. Okay. So let's let's see if we can get this here. Okay. So you defeated him. Oh, see the, you got yeah. Victor's boost, I guess, which is grenade does extra damage, and then you got the grenade kill. Right. If that was a multi kill, if it I was three, you get your shield back, yeah, and if right. it was two, we'd see our ultimate meter go up, dip up. Um, and I think one of the bugs here is you have a bunch of plus thruster, and I think it's not it's quite not, working. It's not working. Nor is um, the extra the ultimate regeneration that I have. Oh, just it's just not, okay, base yeah. regeneration isn't, okay. isn't working either. Yeah, so you'd be able to hover longer and probably right. get your ultimate even faster than what we're seeing right. here. Oh, I missed. That's fine, because if you miss, you got to get those weak point hits through. Yep. Okay, so while uh, right, you're doing so this, I'll <laughs> field some extra questions as you keep explaining stuff. Um, all right, so... Yeah, the grenades are really the grenades are really powerful, but but slow, and we balance them that way. Um, but this this is a, a good way it's around amazing. that. Right, right, right. I ran into the trees so here you go. Now, there. Now we're perfectly set up. Boom into. Oh, oh I didn't really? kill him. Yeah. Okay. So I chose hard difficulty. Um, oh, did you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> for the for, so that we didn't one shot everything. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you, some of the, I mean sometimes these things, uh, but you have to choose the right targets. Right, um, right. 
No, but I think, you know, just even showing off how when you weren't hovering versus hovering, like look how fast those cooldowns are coming up. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy when you're in hover mode. Uh, and then Darren's actually doing something uh, might maybe subtle here, but he's purposely playing around the water. So as he's overheating, he's coming back and cooling himself faster by playing through the water. Right. So there's a lot of like, there's some environmental things you can do here to, to help. All right, okay, there, there we, we go. go. Oh, that might be it. Nice. Okay. Oh, so your Sniper ultimate's shot me full. Out of the air. So if you also now, you could get your ultimate shot. Yep. Awesome. All right, I'll answer some questions. Um, do bosses drop unique loot? Like, if I did a stronghold and killed one of those giant <laughs> gorilla-looking things, a gorilla could thing. I get, I don't know, a crazy quad-barreled shotgun? Man, I like the creativity in, in the question. Um, I have to make that. So I think we've kind of addressed this, but generally the answer is, um, uh, by playing the game, there are loot tables, and the harder the content you play gives you higher chances of rarity amongst the, the loot tables. And those loot tables are kind of, if you're playing a ranger, you're more likely to get more ranger gear, or mostly ranger gear. Um, separately to that, we have a challenge system. So uh, you can think of it as what some other games kind of use achievements as like, but there might be a challenge to be like, hey, go kill the giant gorilla thing uh, 10 times, and on the 10th time, you get a specific reward. And so we're trying to work out exactly how we'll kind of mix those challenges in to the rest of the game. Uh, but the primary thing will be there are loot tables, and then between crafting and challenges, there'll be some outs uh, to chase certain things. Um, yep. <clears throat> okay, is there anything else you want to show? Because we're actually over time. Is there anything else you want to show here? I mean, not really. I think we've we've complicated this enough. Um, <laughs> there's more things I could add to this build. There was a whole bunch of other stuff that yeah. I thought I should put in here, but I want to think this it's to enough. be the kickoff, right? So players yep. could go, oh wow, okay. Just with those things they've told us, which is only a small subset of all small of the subset. options available, man, what are all the different kind of options and thoughts we have of cool things that, that we can do? Um, so what we might do then is um, flip, well actually you can just keep playing around for a bit. I'll answer a few more questions and oh, yeah. then we'll, we'll start to wrap it up. Um. Um, so supportability got asked as a question. Oh yeah, we didn't show it, uh, which actually, for what you're doing guys. here, would be super useful. Would be probably. super. Would have been super useful. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can. It's free play, folks. So I don't know where the people are. Uh, oh, there's a. Well, there we go. There wasn't a mess. Oh, you missed it. Those to the left. That's fine. There's some down there to the right. I shouldn't backseat drive. I think the less we don't want to run right into the wall. Don't That's let cool. Dan backseat drive. Uh, um, I just need. Uh, so the 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 equipment that I have here is. Um, the muster point, the rally point, rather. So, I, uh, don't you have bulwark on? Or do I? Okay, you're right. So this puts a shield around me, um, so that pe the projectiles can't get in. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it blocks them, uh, which is super handy. Ah, oh, against wyverns. Do it. No, I was overheating. Remember. <laughs> But I can I can pop it in the air. Um, if I time it incorrectly, I can't. Yeah. So the bulwark it is. Oh, nice! You found the ring gate. Um, the bulwark will prevent projectiles coming in. So um, <laughs> if you didn't uh, get set on fire all from the, time, the raptors and shot exactly. out of the sky, it would have been um, much more dramatic. But see, now you're hovering though to get it back faster, so we can show it off. Right. It's kind of cool. So they have um, a long cooldown, but it's it's shortened when I'm yeah. when I'm hovering. Okay, so we showed that uh, is loot individual or shared? So loot is instance to be individual loot. Uh, and again, there's no trading. It's really about uh, you having to go and earn the loot yourself. And of course, any loot you get, you'll oh, you got two Ursics. Yeah, you no, I'm not going to be able probably to. I should, get I should out run of away, I know. Um, <laughs> uh, and remember, you want to salvage loot you're not going to use to get crafting materials to craft things that you may really want to have. Yep. Uh, do inscriptions stack? I assume this means they do. if I had two plus five percent flight times, would I? Would they work together? They do. Yep, okay. for sure. They sure do. Um, a question was: Will uh, high-level gear have wildly impactful abilities? Um, I think that was an older question before we started showing all this. So the answer is yes. The answer as is you yes. can see, right. uh, pretty pretty impactful stuff. You can work in kind of your own 
rotations, if you will, um, or play styles based on putting this together. <laughs> I think you should just like I know, I know. Go, go I'm away. tempting, tempting fate. <laughs> so that's an interesting point because you'd mentioned this to me. We were playing around with this yesterday. You're like, you know, this build is really about having to defeat a lot of enemies pretty quickly. That's right. where you get the most value. So then when you fight like an Earth 6, like this isn't the best build to go and fight single target, right. high right. Right. high hit point, I high can't, damage. I can't get those creatures. those those and activations. That's the trade off, right? Yep. Now you could have made a different build that was balanced for that. And my impact build, build would have been great. Focused. Yeah, your impact would have been perfect for it. It's all about single target damage or weapons. Um, so there's going to be a lot of trade offs here. And then if you think you're just one player, you know, ideally you have a squad of of you and three of your best friends, um, and you're trying to work out the builds that support the whole group, um, all four of you together. Right. So you might make a mixture of some people are there to, to take out the trash, so to speak, the the, uh, the easier to kill creatures, and other people are there to deal with the kind of um, you right. know, priority target things, either yep. the, the apex creatures like the Ursics, or even like a Scar Heavy, um, you know, things that, that are harder to defeat. So another, another uh, interesting thing that we see here, because it's not working, unfortunately, is I really needed the hover time to work. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the me stacking that stuff. Yeah. Like just loosely for players, like do you think it would be about twice? Like how much more hover are um, we talking? Because it's not infinite. You no, 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 it's not infinite. Oh, that was an awesome combo. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so um, it's not infinite. And these guys have a lot of health. Um, yeah. Uh, but it yeah. needs to be extended to a, to a point where I can, I can reliably do a combo and yeah. not have to worry about falling out of the sky. Right, right. Okay, that's cool. That's that's all part of the in-development nature of us grabbing a, a recent build that has some bugs. No big deal. Um, do enemies scale with your gear score? Or probably a better question is, how do enemies scale? Because we've they, talked about right. friends of any level can play together. So right. how, how would it work? So the key to making that work is that, that enemies scale to your uh, your pilot level. Right. Um, there, are, there are things that scale uh, slightly differently, but the creatures, yeah. So the biggest gunner. boost you can get, oh man, he's just wants uh, The biggest boost he's you can tough. get is increasing your rarity. Is that right? Uh, like any increasing given rarity level range, and item. Uh, increasing yeah. rarity item would level be the best way to get ahead. Item level and uh, uh, rarity. Yep. Okay. Cool. And then um, we've talked about this before, but you know, if Darren's level twenty and I'm level ten, we can play together because we'll do without getting into it, relative damage to the creatures and they'll do relative damage to us <laughs> so we can play together. Um, but when Darren has a build like this with all these synergies, he will be more powerful than I will or he will be able to defeat yep. things faster because he has all these extra synergies and he has a breadth of things available to him. Um, but we can still play together and, and have a lot of fun. Uh, we would He would never take me to do the hardest end game stuff. Yeah, that I think he would probably out, wouldn't, have, you wouldn't He would come it, on but... my crit path missions or we, we'd play you know, whatever piece of content together on some of the regular difficulties and we'd be having a great time. Um, yep. Are there builds that can improve your melee? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, I was... Uh, of all the somebody, choices. <laughs> somebody, select, somebody suggested that I actually make a, a tanky ranger uh, melee build. And I could have done that too. Yeah. Right. Lots of, lots of uh, melee uh, components um, and things that apply to that. Oh. So one question was, can you show the other gun? Which I think is not working. Is that <laughs> it right? It doesn't it's work. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited to, to, to play with it. We got then... like 42 minutes in before being caught with a weapon that work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, we found out that was uh, bugged. Uh, we have top people fixing said Our bug, but it's not, uh, it's not part of this build right now. Yeah, okay, so we might do, I don't know, two more questions and then um, we will sign off. Um, We'll get a summary posted of the stream, and if there are questions in Reddit and, or, or other uh, parts of social media, like we're kind of around in general, we'll, we'll poke in and, and see if we can answer some for you. Um, uh, if we wanted to get, yeah, just a couple more questions. So I've seen this a couple of times, will there be swords or other uh, things? So right now the way it works is each Javelin has its own melee ability. Mm -hmm. So the Ranger has the Shock Mace, it just has the Shock Mace, there are no other things. Um, we like the idea of maybe somewhere down in the future, like we could do some more stuff, but at launch everyone kind of has their one thing. Um, right. And that will scale with pilot level oh, yeah. and things oh, yeah. like that. 
Um, so the next question, I'll, I'll field this one as well. Uh, what about raids and endgame content? So uh, that's a much longer answer. Um, so a lot of um, the kind of core loop to the game uh, as you get through the crit path and get towards the end game content uh, is around taking on more challenging and more challenging content at those higher difficulties to get uh, more awards. Right. Um, then the question says, but hey, like I would like aspirational content. Like it's important to have aspirational content. Mm -hmm. And so we have some things coming that we're not quite ready to talk about. Um, but as we get into the new year, uh, we'll give some more detail on that. Um, but certainly at launch, there's a lot of content and a lot of difficulty levels and a lot of ways to challenge yourself with you and your friends to try to get these rewards, find out what these amazing builds are, find the builds that are right for you, find the build that's right for you and your group, find the build that's right for you and your group across the four javelins, across multiple loadouts. You know, there's really a lot of, of stuff to chase there. Um, and a lot of amazing content to play uh, to do it. Um, but we'll talk about some of that other stuff uh, a bit later. When can we see the intercept the point of view? So, for those paying attention, a certain person promised we would show the intercept the perspective next you did? stream. Yeah, but what happened is last stream we had a couple of technical problems and we didn't get to show it. And then we, we promised we would show loot. But showing loot on the interceptor that you'd never seen wasn't really going to make sense. So we wanted to yeah. show the ranger so you could compare it to what the ranger we've showed before. Sure. Oh. So our hope is that next time we do a gameplay stream, no, I said gameplay stream, that we will show the interceptor's perspective. And so I realize I promised this thing. Um, it accidental promise breaking, not non intentional. Um, I would have shown it for him. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, we will it. show it. We'll show it next stream. Uh, next stream that we show gameplay. How many caveats do I need here? <laughs> I, know, I need a lawyer present. Um, but yes, we, we want to show off. Like we love the Interceptor too. Like we're really <laughs> excited. I mean, it was the last javelin that we built as a team, um, and it's been shown the least, and it's amazing. So we want to show it off as well. All right. So that's all the time we have for questions. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a wrap up here. So, what are some of the things we covered? Let's not go through it, but just wow. talk about it. So we talked about pilots and pilot levels, how that works. There's lots of loot in the game. It comes in multiple rarities. As you push through rarities, you get more inscriptions. Mm -hmm. The inscriptions are random from a big pool of over 100 or about 100 right. different things. Um, you can combine all of these things together to make unique builds as you get towards the end game and, and you get some of the higher and rarities, uh, like the build we've shown off today. Uh, within the forge itself, you can equip the three gear pieces, the two weapons, and then up to six components. And all of that as you level unlocks. So at right. level one, you can you have like a weapon and two gear pieces. And then at level four, you get like the second weapon. And at level, I don't remember, 12 or six, you yeah. get the third gear piece, or however yes. it works. And so all that unlocks on your journey uh, to max pilot level. Um, so that's kind of what we've covered today. We looked at the Colossus and the Ranger. Um, so that was that. Um, uh, we're really excited to show this stuff off. You know, it's, it's been a long time working on this and, and it's great to, to show it off. Uh, obviously, thanks to all of our amazing fans for tuning in again. Um, you know, this community has been so great, so positive, um, and we really love uh, interacting with all of you. So thanks for coming to watch us. Um, thank you to our amazing production team who set this up today. Um, I don't know if you guys saw any of the photos we posted, but we really did a double upgrade to our yeah. streaming setup this time around. It's, fancy. And it's been amazing. It's fancy. We have microphones and all this cool stuff. Um, it's not that fancy, I guess, but um, <laughs> we do have lots of fancy <laughs> stuff. And, and the, the, the team actually was here super late last night, so thank you all so much. Obviously, thank you to the amazing dev team who built all this stuff. We get to represent them. Uh, which is great for us, but but there are yep. lots of people doing all this work in the background. Um, so we're we're thankful to share that on behalf of, of them. Uh, we'll be announcing our next stream here pretty shortly um, uh, to let you get give you all a heads up of what we'll stream next. Um, if you want to find out that information, you can follow uh, us on Twitter at, at @anthemgame. Uh, you can follow me at, at Ben Ervo because I like to go rogue and announce things sometimes also. Um, but with all of that said and done, did you want to 
wish a farewell to anyone? Yeah, uh, farewell to anyone in particular. Anyone no. who came, to, <laughs> who came to, to nerd out with me about builds, which is um, probably my favorite thing in the world. Like when Darren and I play games together, this is where he gets deep. Like oh, yeah, he gets is, lost in builds and it's like, man, can we just play the game? Well, I've got to do my thing. Yeah, no, this is, this is, uh, this, so your interests uh, uh, very closely align to our interests when it comes to, um, Having really cool things to allow you to customize your play, yep, um, and be different than each other. Everyone wants to be uh, individual, right? Um, so and they'll to be see who can find that unique build that, right. that kind of blows everyone's mind. And we think there'll be a lot of community back and forward around trying to work. That right. Out. Yep. And that's uh, that's one of my favorite parts of uh, being a developer. Awesome. Well, Darren, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, it was awesome having your expertise to kind of talk through this with everyone. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been a really fun stream, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye, folks.